In today's TikTok tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your very own effect in Effect House in no time at all. But before we do get into that, if you guys could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you like these tutorial type videos on TikTok, it would greatly help me out. We're closing in on 100,000 subscribers. So like I said, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an effect like the one I'm showing on screen. It's incredibly simple to do and it's all through the application called Effect House. Download this program on their website it is directly integrated with tiktok it's tiktok's own creation and it is still newly in development i do say newly very lightly because it's been out for well over like half a year now however the program is still very new they're still adding a ton of updates to it but it's a clean program and it's very easy to use for beginners so for this project we're going to be doing a nice little randomizer 2d effect they're very popular on tiktok there's so many different variations and it's the most popular request I've gotten on YouTube. So we're going to do that. Once you have the program downloaded, which I assume you already do, you'll be presented with a screen like this. We're going to start from a preset effect. It is so much easier to work with the templates that are already set apart from creating your own new project that would take so much longer and be much harder. So we're going to select the 2D randomizer template. It's going to upload this template right here. You're going to get a title card and then it's going to show all the options for five seconds and then land on one of them. So she just got Venus right there. So that is essentially what we're going to make, be making today, but it's going to be with our own images and our own idea. So the first thing you'll need to do before you even do any work within the effect house is actually getting your assets. So I want to make a Call of Duty randomizer where it just randomly selects a game. So I downloaded all my games and I uploaded them into Photoshop just so I could resize them, but you could resize them in whatever app you want. You don't need Photoshop. The size of these images are 261 by 380. I think if you're in the 300 pixel range, you should be fine. The dimensions don't have to be exact to what I have. And then for my title card, the dimensions I have, I believe are 300 by 100. Yes. So you can copy the dimensions I used or use your own. They're not very important unless you're doing like a thousand pixels and it's going to cover the whole screen. So I would recommend staying around that 300 pixel area. So with this template in place, you really don't have to do much, but the first thing you want to do is import your assets. So what you want to do is go to add asset, go to import, and then make sure to hit texture sequence then we're just going to copy all of our games and don't copy in the title card in this import. So we're going to open all of that up and bam, now we have our textures here. Next thing we're gonna do is add asset, import from computer this time, not texture sequence, from computer. And then we're going to add in that title card and bam, now we have all of our games here, as you can see, and then we have our title card. Next thing we wanna do is actually switch out these images and the title card. So you can do that by going to title up here and then going to the right, you will see this option texture. You just wanna click that and then select the randomizer because you want to switch it out and then to make sure it actually worked hit the restart up here and bam you can see now your image is imported on to our template effect i'm actually going to drag out the title card so it's a little larger just so it looks better and we'll see how that looks yeah that's much better than before i am going to bring it up just a slight bit the next thing i'm going to do is add in that animation sequence so the great thing about effect house is it already animates you all your images you don't have to do that so go to the texture sequence on the right after hitting up here the random animation sequence and then find your sequence select it hit okay and now you can see our games are rotating through but it's kind of small i do want to make it a tad bit larger so i'm going to drag that out and perfect now we have our pod randomizer and everything is working fantastically now for some additional options that you can do before actually submitting your effect so up here you have the different people you can test out your effect on different people and see how it's going to look if someone uh let's say turns their head just to make sure that your effect won't like glitch out this really isn't that important for the randomizer effect since it's pretty simplistic but when you're gonna go into more advanced effects like 3d models this will come into play more another thing i really like to do is previewing on tiktok so if you hit the preview and tiktok button it will bring up this qr code and then 
when I scan this QR code with the QR scanner on TikTok, it will actually bring up the effect on TikTok and I can literally use it in real time. It is very cool. I'm currently using it on my phone right now. And yeah, the effect is working flawlessly. The perfect thing about this QR scanner too is let's say you submit your effect to TikTok and they deny it. Well, you can still record your effect even if they deny it, just other people can't use your effect. So let's say you wanted to make an effect just for yourself. Well, this is the perfect option to do that. And yeah, those are just some basic ones. You can also turn on your own webcam and just do it yourself instead of using a model. So that's another one, but there really is so much more to this program. I don't want to go over all of it in today's video or else the video would be like an hour long. Just the basics so you can get that TikTok effect created and upload it. The last things I did actually want to showcase is in this randomized option. It's pretty self-explanatory, but if you want to make it so that the user actually has to click the screen to start the animation, you can select right here, check mark that, and that will make that happen. I don't want that option on, but then we're going to go to time to spin. Five seconds is kind of long in my opinion, so I'm going to make it 2.5 seconds, so about half that speed. Title delay, I feel like a minute is fine, but the fade out time I feel like is way too long as well, so we're going to make it 0 0.5. And those are just the basic settings for this randomizer. The next thing we're going to do is actually get this thing submitted. So you need an effect name, make sure it is creative and unique. So I'm going to call this COD or Call of Duty randomizer. Now you can add an effect hint. Ours really doesn't require a hint. You can say like open mouth, but our effect doesn't need any of that. It just goes automatically and the effect is within the guidelines. So we should be good to go. The last thing you need to do is actually add in your own thumbnail and this needs to be in a square format. So here's my little thumbnail here. It's nothing special. As you can see, now we have our thumbnail uploaded. Everything should be good to go. So we're going to hit upload and now we need to add some additional details to this effect. So I'm going to say the category is interactive. The tags, I'm going to use gaming, COD, Call of Duty, MW3, Gamer. I'm actually going to take out MW3, add Gamer, and just make it more generic with gaming. The additional comments, I'm going to tell them what the effect is going to do. And then a demo video. So you're actually going to have to record a demo video for TikTok so they can see what this video and effect is going to be used for and what it's going to look like. So you can actually record that demo video in the effect house by turning on your camera and recording that video. I'm going to record my demo video using the actual TikTok app. So so that it's in way better quality and it's not as like laggy. So I'm gonna go record that right now. Already awesome, I recorded the video, I just uploaded that. It has to be an MOV or MP4 file. We're going to submit that. And I actually entered in the tags wrong. You're not supposed to do commas, you're just supposed to hit enter. We're gonna do gaming, random, pod, and call of duty. Alrighty, so those are entered. We're gonna hit submit and our effect should be good to be submitted. It's gonna take about one, two, three business days. So hopefully by the time you guys are seeing this video, the effect went through. I can't see a reason why they wouldn't uh, publish this effect unless maybe like copyright issues. I don't know if that's really a thing with these randomizer effects, but you never know. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on Effect House. If you want me to make a part two where I show you how to make like a 3D custom face, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, let me know in the comments section and make sure you subscribe to keep updated with that. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace. See ya later. Thank you for watching the video. And don't forget to remember. Thank you for watching the video. And if you're a fan, subscribe if you can. Keep